Welcome to Namastar course. This video will introduce you how to exchange data group with Nova LCT. Before starting, there is some basic information to be confirmed. Why? Why exchanging data groups is necessary sometimes. We know the modules are connected to the receiving card via a hub board. However, there is a default video output order starting from the first slot GH1 of the receiving card via hub board, which outputs the video signal from top to bottom, left to right. But the physical connection of the modules is very random due to many reasons. Even the smart settings are cracked. We have to exchange the default output order to fix the disordered image. And the solution is exchanging data groups. 2. How many data groups does each module have? The hub board should have the same data groups as the module. So we can find it out on hub board specification. For example, there are two groups of RGB data on Hub 75, meaning that there are two data groups. Therefore, the modules that connect to the Hub 75 have two data groups as well. 3. Why we need to cite data group extension and output mode as symmetrical or triple strip modes? because the receiving card's default output is 16 data groups. If more than 16 data groups connected, it requires an extended data group setting for receiving cards. And the output's mode may vary according to the physical connection between modules and hub board. Here are some pictures showing how will the physical connection within the cabinet define output mode setting. In the first picture, each four of the total 16 modules are cascaded, which means the four modules can be seen as one. Only one column modules are connected. So, it is the default mode which doesn't set output mode. In a second picture, the H2 of the total 16 modules are connected, so it can be seen as two columns modules are connected, so it needs to be set as symmetrical outputs. Then, same principle for triple strip outputs and quadruple strip outputs. Before starting the software, the points need to pay attention to. 1. The sending device is directly connected to PC and the skill function, if existing, is turned off and no other third-party device is connected. 2. The computer is in duplicated mode and the resolution is scaled to 100%. Double-click to open the Nova LCT software, find user, click and select the synchronized advanced user login. Password is admin. Click screen configuration and then click next. Move to receiving card tab. One, make sure the module information is correct. Otherwise, we need to do the smart setting again. Two, in cabinet information, there are regular and irregular sections. This video will demonstrate regular settings for the most common rectangular cabinets. 3. Enter the resolution of your cabinet. If the module is cascaded, choose the correct cascaded direction.
Four. Click More Settings. Choose Symmetrical Data Group Extension. Enable the Correct Output Mode according to your Intro Cabinet Physical Connection. Choose if the data group needs extending. Please note, different receiving cards have different extension modes. Refer to the specifications. Five. Click Data Group Exchange. Click OK. Enable Data Group Exchange. Click Reset Data. Six. Observe the numbers that display on cabinets, and enter the same number in the corresponding software areas. When finish, click Apply and Send. Seven. Click Close. Make sure the cabinet is showing correctly, and click Save to save parameters to receiving cards. This can avoid data loss after the screen is powered off. Please note, if the number shows incorrectly, please check if a wrong data group output mode is set, wrong data group extension setting, or incorrect pixel by pixel setting. Okay, the operation to exchange the data group has been completed. See you next time.